This is a download from BBC Learning English. To find out more, visit our website. Six Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com Hello and welcome to Six Minute English, the show that brings you an interesting topic, authentic listening practice and vocabulary to help you improve your language skills. I'm Dan. And I'm Catherine. In this programme, we'll be discussing mermaids as well as teaching you six new items of vocabulary, of course. How would you like to be a mermaid? A half human and half fish. Well, Dan, I think it's all a myth. Well, then you'll find this week's question a bit of a difficult one to answer. I suppose I will. Go on, then. When did the most recent alleged mermaid sighting take place? Was it A, the 1400s, B, the 1800s, or C, the 2000s? OK, and by alleged or alleged, you mean said or believed to be true, but not proven. I don't believe in mermaids, but I think there's a lot of people who do. So I will say C, the 2000s. Well, we'll find out if you're right a bit later on. So, what do you know about mermaids, Catherine? Well, a mermaid is a creature that's similar in appearance to a woman, but instead of legs, a mermaid has the tail of a fish. The males are called mermen and they live in the ocean. I thought they were a myth. Well, they certainly appear to be mythical. They feature in legends and stories from all over the world. The earliest known one in a story dates from ancient Assyria, around 1000 BC. Can you think of a more modern example? Many people will be familiar with the Disney story, The Little Mermaid. Yes, but before it was an animated movie, it was a renowned fairy tale written by Hans Christian Andersen, first published in 1837. Interestingly, a small bronze statue of The Little Mermaid has been sitting in Copenhagen in Denmark since 1913. There you go, there's no real evidence. What if I told you that over 200 mermaids have recently gathered in Greensboro, North Carolina, in the USA? You're telling me fish tales. Done. Okay, I'll confess, they aren't real mermaids. Each person is a normal human wearing a waist-high latex tail. They meet to share an interest in aquatic mythology, take underwater photos, and swim. For many of them, it's a source of income too. Listen to Daniel Craig, five-year merman, explain. A lot of the mermaids we have attending here are professional mermaids. They will entertain at uh, birthday parties, uh, social events, uh, company events. I stumbled across the mermaiding community nearly by accident. So it's a job too, a professional merman. And Daniel said that he stumbled across it or found it by accident. So it doesn't really count then though, does it, Dan? A real, real mermaid? That's a different kettle of fish, which is an idiomatic phrase that means a completely different matter or issue. Well, while we have no hard evidence, such as a photo of a real mermaid, there have been several sightings. One of the more recent ones was in 2009 in Haifa Bay. Ah, hang on now, that rings a bell. That's in Israel, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it allegedly appeared at sunset. Apparently, the mermaid was doing tricks. There you go, then. <laughs> but there is no reason, Dan, to believe that that was anything other than a hoax, which means a deception or a lie, often done for humour or sometimes cruelty. Well, real or not, it could be quite fun to be a mermaid. I wonder what it would be like. Well, that I can help with. Let Daniel Craig explain why he likes it so much. It's just serene. It's the perfect place for a temporary getaway. So he likes it because it's serene, which means calm and peaceful. Yes, and he says it's the perfect getaway, which is a place you go in order to escape from normal life. Well, I still don't believe in mermaids, but I do believe, Dan, that you asked me a question. I definitely did. I asked, when did the most recent alleged mermaid sighting take place? Was it A, the 1400s, B, the 1800s, or C, the 2000s? And I said, I think it was the 2000s. And you have hit the nail on the head. Well done. Thank exactly you. right. It was the 2000s. It was in 2012 in Zimbabwe, and it was reported by the Water Resource Minister. Let's take a look at the vocabulary from this program. Our first word was alleged or alleged. If something is alleged, it is said or believed to be true, but not proven to be true. Can you think of a recent example, Catherine? Uh, US President Donald Trump um, has alleged that newspapers have been printing fake news, but apparently there's no proof. 
And our next one was stumbled across. So if you stumble across something, you encounter or find it by accident. It's a phrasal verb and you could also say come across. So Dan, have you ever stumbled across anything unusual? Well, there was a time when I was going to a party in Holborn and I got completely lost. And there on the floor in front of me, I stumbled across a map of London. It got me straight to the party. Spooky. The next one after that was a different kettle of fish. A different kettle of fish is an idiomatic phrase which means a completely different matter or issue. You could also use the phrase a horse of a different colour. Next up we had hoax and a hoax is a deception or lie which is often done for humour or cruelty. What was the last hoax you did, Dan? One Christmas, I wrapped a broken light bulb in a box and gave it to my mother as a present. I pretended to drop it and the broken light bulb made a glass shattering noise and she thought that I had broken her present. After that, we heard serene. Serene means calm and peaceful. The noun is serenity. What's your idea of serene, Catherine? Two weeks, lying on the beach, drinking lemonade, listening to the sound of the sea. Fabulous. And finally, we had a getaway. A getaway is an informal word meaning a place you go in order to escape from normal life, such as a holiday. So where's your favourite getaway, Dan? My favourite getaway is my yoga class. I find it really, really refreshing. Well, that's the end of today's Six Minute English. Please join us again soon. And we're on social media too, so make sure to visit us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Bye-bye. Six Minute English.